it won't be possible for me to speak to you. But I haven't said anything. That's true, but I'm not in the habit of talking to strangers. I still haven't said anything. But aren't you interested in knowing why? I'm afraid not. Well put. I can see you're a man of sense. I think we're gonna get along just fine. It's just, I prefer not to speak to anyone who does not give me his name. But then he's no longer a stranger. Exactly. Quinn was prepared. Technically, Oster was the name he had to protect. My name is Quinn. Ah, Quinn. Very interesting, Quinn. Rhymes with twin, does it not? That's right, twin, yeah. And Sid, too. And Grin, and Quintessence, Quintessence, Quiddity, Quick, for example. Lynn, the Jeremy Lynn. Then, my Grin. Grin. Jim, Jif, in the Jiffy book. Ah, I like Quinn. It flies in so many directions, all at once. Yes, I've often noticed that. Most people think of words as unmovable stones. Stones can change, they can erode. Exactly. I can tell you were a man of sense. If only you knew how many people understood me. But I have never been daunted. I will soon hold the keys to major discoveries. The key? Yes. The key, a thing that opens locked doors. I'm collecting data. For the time being, it's demanding work. I can imagine. You see, I'm the only one to understand. It's a great burden on me. The world on your shoulders. Yes. Well, what is left of it? The world is in fragments, sir. My job is to put it back together. Have you made much progress? Yes. My brilliant stroke has been to confine myself to a very small area. You see, I'm inventing a new language. A new language? Yes, when things were whole, words couldn't express them. Now things have broken apart, and words have not adapted. When an umbrella breaks, and you get wet, it is still an umbrella, correct? No, it has changed, but the word is still the same. It is imprecise, false. And if we can't name the common object, how can we speak of things that truly concern us? In your work? My work is simple. In New York, everything is broken. It's brokenness. Broken people, broken things, broken thoughts. I collect shattered objects to examine. My samples are now in the hundreds. What do you do with them? I give them names. I invent new words that will correspond to the things. How do you know if it's, you found the right name. I never make a mistake. It's a function of genius. Could you give me an example? Sorry, but once I've published my book, you and the rest of the world will know. Then, great things will begin to happen. It will be the greatest event in the history of mankind. I don't think so. My name is Henry Dark. Unfortunately, that's not possible, sir. Why not? Because there is no Henry Dark. Perhaps I am another Henry Dark. That very well may be your name, but 
You are not the Henry Dark. Is he a friend of yours? Not exactly. He's a character in a book I wrote. I find that very hard to accept. So did they all. But I fooled them. Amazing. Why did you do it? Uh, I had certain ideas that were dangerous and controversial. So I pretended they had come from him. Why Henry Dark? It's a good name, full of mystery and still quite proper. The initials HD refer to Humpty Dumpty. You know, the egg. It's the purest embodiment of the human condition. What is an egg? It is unborn, yet alive. When I use a word, Humpty Dumpty said, it means just what I choose it to mean. The question is, said Alice, whether you can make words mean so many different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be the master, and that's all. Thus we see the future of human salvation, to become masters of the words we speak. Humpty Dumpty was a man who spoke truths that the world wasn't ready for. A man? A slip of the tongue. I mean egg. But all men are eggs. We have not yet achieved the form that is our destiny. Man is a fallen creature as is Humpty Dumpty. He falls from his wall, and no one can put him together again. But that is our duty as human beings, to put the egg together again. And to help Humpty Dumpty is to help ourselves. A convincing argument. No crack in that egg. Exactly. But there is another famous egg as well. Another? Columbus's egg. Ah, yes. Given the problem on how to stand an egg on its end, he's tapped the shell's bottom to create a flatness that would support the egg. Columbus was a genius. He saw paradise and discovered a new world. It is still not too late for this world to become paradise. Indeed. As you can see, I leave no stone unturned. I'm proud of you, Peter. I owe it all to you. Children are a great blessing. I've always said that. As for me, I have my good days, and I have my bad days. On bad days, I think of the good ones. Memory is a blessing. The next best thing to death. Without a doubt. But we must live in the present. Today I'm here. Tomorrow I'll be somewhere else, as part of my work. Must be stimulating. Time makes us grow old, but it also gives us day and night. And when we die, there is always someone to take our place. We all grow old. When you're old, perhaps you'll have a son to comfort you. I would like that. Remember, Peter. Children are a great blessing. I, I won't forget. And never say a thing that you know in your heart isn't true. I won't. And never say a thing, for a lie cannot be undone. I'm a father and I know. I understand. The father of our country chopped down the cherry tree. I cannot lie to my father, he said to himself. Then he threw a coin across the river. These are crucial events. He chopped down the tree and then threw the money. Do you understand? He was telling us that 
money doesn't grow on trees. Now his face is on every dollar bill. You see? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. You were always a clever boy. I'm glad you understand. I can follow you perfectly. Oh, a father must teach his son the lessons he has learned. And that way, knowledge is passed down. I won't forget what you told me. I'll be able to die happily now, Peter. I'm glad. But you mustn't forget anything I taught you. I won't, Father. I promise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 